all the big group here, we are learning the halachot of tzitzit. We are starting from Stimon Ted and Matt. What uh, you can also have a book actually. You have the book. I'll use the computer. Whatever. Okay. You don't need. No, I'll, I'll use the computer and then uh, what, what's Chaya oh. Tzitzit? That's way more Chaluta, right? We have a book. So let's just open it. We are in Shulchan Aruch, chapter nine. So we'll we'll just read through it. Uh, some of us here uh, we'll skip some of them, but we'll read most of it. So the first halacha uh, is what clothes are chayav and tzitzit, and that's a very known halacha. Has a lot of meaning. Ein chayav v'tzitzit min haTorah la beged pishtim shel tzemer rechelim. La beged pishtim o shel tzemer rechelim. Aval bidei shar minim elan chayavim v'tzitzit elan mid rabbanan. So we have a machloket rishonim. What kind of cloth? What kind of clothes are obligated in tzitzit? So, according to Shulchan Aruch, with your right of Torah law, only Kishtan, which is um, linen. 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 Only linen or similar echelim. Wool from sheep or goats. So, also should be sheep or goats. I think it comes to say, exclude um, if you have wool. And times of, today we call wool only from, from sheep. Uh, sheep, right? And also maybe goats. But in the times of the Gemara, they used to use the word similar also for. Uh, wool from other animals like uh, camel or maybe uh, rabbits and so on. So that's why he says here, semer rechemim, okay, wool from sheep or goats. But other uh, other clothes are obligated only in Rabbanan, and only Rabbi Nicole. And that's the question if a person asks, should I wear uh, the semer uh, clothes or can I wear a t shirt? According to the Shulchan Aruch, the answer will be, wear from wool. Because that's uh, mm-hmm. obligated from the Torah. Other things are only obligated to Midir Rabbanan. Says the Ramah, and many of us are make a lenient like the Ramah, There is a different opinion. Tosfot and Rosh and the Mordechai, they hold, that all the clothes are obligated from the Torah, even from cotton, uh, for example. So all, everything is obligated from the Torah. And that is the halacha. Okay, that is the halacha. Also, other clothes are obligated from the Torah. So you can wear a t-shirt if it has uh, four openings, that's four corners, that's fine. You can wear it and that's obligated from the Torah. Um, it's actually already in the Mahloket in, in the Gemara, but that's the halacha of, according to the Ramah. Um, what is important to say here, what about some of the synthetic clothes? Uh, synthetic clothes, Good evening, how are you? Yeah, it's calm. We can see all the time. Uh, yeah, we're time. Okay. Um, okay, so we said according to the Shukhan Aruch, one should try and wear. Is it made out of wool, all linen, but the wool is the common one. And uh, according to the Roma, also other clothes are obligated mid the orita. What about leather or polyester? Okay, or something which is um, the art tzitzit. I'm not sure how they are called. It's like a net tzitzit. Mesh. Uh, mesh. They call me- mesh tzitzit. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. those aren't so great. This is, those aren't so great. You can have the dry fit. That's probably a bit better. It's like woven, woven in, and it's, it looks like more like a baguette, like a clothes. Mm-hmm. But there are some which is just a, uh, they take plastic or, and just like a stamp the, the shape of it into mm-hmm. it. Or, so that that's might be a problem. And, and you can wear it. You can say, you can put a tzitzit in it. Not so simple. You can say a bracha mm-hmm. on those things. And uh, therefore, it's better to wear other, other other things. Okay, so we'll continue in the next uh, next halacha. <coughs> Says the Shulchan Aruch, if I have strings, if I have strings of linen or wool, so those strings are good for all the kinds of clothes I have. Let's say I have a T-shirt made out of cotton, and the strings of the tzitzit are made out of wool. That's fine. Okay, so strings from wool or from uh, linen are good for all the kinds of clothes. We shouldn't uh, use wool 
for clothes of linen, which is not so common today in any case because who wears today clothes of, of linen? Uh, because today we don't have tchelet, although we do have tchelet, but we aren't 100% sure that's the original tchelet of the Torah. So we shouldn't put, and tchelet must be from semer, and you can't put semer, wool, and linen in the same clothes, and this is a special mitzvah. So since we aren't 100% sure that we have a tchelet, uh, blue uh, color, and uh, so therefore we shouldn't put uh, wool for linen, and the truth is also that we don't use tzitziot of linen at all. Yeah, we don't use tzitziot of linen, it prevents problems. Therefore, always you'll find the strings will be out of wool. I saw once at Ningoni strings made out of cotton. Don't buy them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm wearing yeah. I'm wearing yeah. Uh, we gave once a class in Tchelet, so we won't, uh, we won't expand too much about it. But uh, we will say just one sentence. Why do I wear Tchelet? So some wear Tchelet because they say, well, it's a question we do right. I'm not sure that's the right chalet or not the right chalet. That's the right snail. But I have a question. So why not to try and do a mitzvah? That's uh, one uh, side. The other side will say, well, why to pay money? And then you're unsure you have to do a mitzvah. Maybe you don't. Maybe even after you put it chalet, you're unsure you're doing the mitzvah because maybe it's not the right kind. And maybe you're now causing people to pay money. That is a score of fire. Did you say you don't say bracha? I, I say bracha. I say bracha of, of tzitzit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um... No. If you if you put the uh, strings from other, no, sorry, you don't say a bracha when you have um, like mm -hmm. the the mesh the mesh uh, tzitziot. I think just one one sentence about it. If we know that this this color existed in the times of Chazal, uh, mm -hmm. and we know that the I don't remember the name of a snail, but we know that the snail was known in the times of Chazal. I think if if Chazal knew about, knew about the snail and it's not the right snail, they should have mentioned and tell us the snail that they use in those places and in the north of Israel, that's not the right snail. And I think the fact Chazal didn't say anything about it, they only mentioned a different kind of kala, which is made out of a, a plant called kala ilan. That's the name of the... The fact that they mentioned only kala ilan and told us that's not the right chilet, that's not the right blue. And they didn't mention the snail, so it's a good proof that probably that is the right snail. Because we do know that they used this, uh, um, what's the name of it? I think the name is Porpoise or something like that, the name of a snail. Okay, uh, I'm skipping a few more halachot. And that's, since you mentioned the color, it's, uh, since you mentioned the color, so there's a, quite an interesting halacha. Does, do the clothes, and the strings need to be from the same color. So if you look in the Shulchan Aruch, we are in chapter 9 in Saif Hay, paragraph 5. Says the Shulchan Aruch, Yesh Omrim, some say, Shetzarich la'asot atzitzit mitzeva hatalit. You have to have the strings, the same color of the clothes itself. Ve'amida kadekim, no'agim ken, people who are really careful, that's what they do. So if you have white strings, You'll have white clothes. Okay, and if you have green clothes, for example, you're in the army, and in the army we used to get uh, green tzitziot. So according to the Shulchan Aruch, the best way to do, you can see from the Shulchan Aruch, it's not necessary, but the Medak Takim, the best way to do will be to paint your strings in the color of green because the color needs to be the same. There's two reasons why they need to be the same. One of them, the, we have in the Pasuk Hakanaf Min Kanaf, which means the clothes should be the same um, type of the strings. They should be the same type and also mean the same color of the strings. That's how uh, we mention we mention an opinion that the clothes are obligated to succeed only if they are made out of wool or linen. So that's how they learn it. Also from this the same idea of Hakanaf Min Kanaf. And um, also, the, the it needs to be to be the same color, but there's another explanation for that. And it's only about shirts. Also, shirts. Also, the it needs to be the same color. No, not your pants. No, no, no obviously not the pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only the, the only the, the clothes of the tzitzit, or the talit, or whatever it is. Seems like that the the more uh, important reason, or more the main reason why it needs to be. The, the same color is the Eli van Behu. 
or it's a matter of have, making things nice. We, we do a mitzvah, let's do it in a nice way. And it's more aesthetic if it's connected, if it's the same color, okay? if it blends in. If it, you can see that the strings continue the, the clothes or the, the shirt, right? Or the, 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 the clothes of the, of the tzitzit. Uh, we also have in the meaning, of Kuk gives the meaning of the meaning of the clothes itself and the meaning of the tied part of the tzitzit, which are knotted together. We'll learn about it later. And the meaning of the strings separating. So you can see there's something which is big and then becoming too smaller and then really going to the small details. So there's a meaning for the the clothes, the small, the, the tied part of the seat, and everything is one part. So that's the idea of ze eli who make the mitzvot nice. They make the mitzvot nice. Um, and if the whole idea is to make the mitzvot nice, let's say I do a mitzvah, but I don't do it the best way. I take an etrog. I take an etrog. It's not the nicest etrog in the market. Did I fulfill the mitzvah? Yeah. Yes. I built a sukkah. It's, I didn't decorate the sukkah. It's a simple sukkah. I found a few scraps of pieces of wood and branches and I made my sukkah. Is it a kosher sukkah? Yes. What about the rule of make the mitzvot nice? They leave and they who? Okay, it's, it's important to make the mitzvot nice, but it's not a part of the mitzvah. Okay, which, is, which means that I fulfill the mitzvah even if it's not the same color. So that's a very important uh, halakha. And let's say I have a green, I'm in the army, and I have the, I got the green tzitzit, but the, the strings are white. So I, even according to Shulchan Aruch, it seems like that um, it, it's, still, it's, still, it's still kosher. It's still kosher because it should be the same color. It's, it's still kosher. No, it's kosher, but it's kosher. It's not lechatchila. Right. 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 We, we mentioned the idea that having it from the same type of the clothes. Of the kanaf, if it, lechatchila, yeah. From the shulchan aruch, it seems like it's only lechatchila from the shulchan aruch. Now, why why am I mentioning it? Because you asked about the blue, tchelet, and some say one second, if you have tchelet, that's blue, right? As you can see, and it's not the same color of the tzitzit, which is uh, white. Okay, then yeah, it has to be the same color. Now, if it's a mitzvah to have blue tzitzit and that's the right uh, snail, or it's a porpoise or whatever it's called, that's a mitzvah. I'm doing, I'm fulfilling the mitzvah. But if it's not the right snail and I just decided to paint my strings in blue, I could paint it in green. So it's not the same color as the tzitzit itself, as the clothes itself, as the shirt. And so there's a problem. So you can see here, according to Shulchan Aruch, it's, uh, it's, it's better to do it the same color. That's how we can see in the Shulchan Aruch. He says, I'm a the The people who are really care careful, they do it the same color. You can't do all of them blue. You can't do all of them blue. No. Only one or two, depending on the. One or two. Yeah. Um, so you do one or two. According to Rashi, you do four out of eight. Um, what, what I do, by the way, my talit, I first I like the color blue. That's one of my, probably my favorite color, the color blue. So my talit, instead of having black uh, stripes, it has blue stripes, and then it really matches the, the trelet, so it, so it really matches. Anyway, let's go to the Rama. The Rama, he uh, holds the Ashkenazim. Ein no hagim la asat atzitzit, rak levanim, we'll explain it in a moment, af v'bgadim tzvuim v'ein neshamot. The Ashkenazim in hag is even if you have green clothes, for example, because you are in the army, and the army gave you those green, uh, green tzitziyot, you still do the strings white that's the Ashkenazi custom, and he says, and we shouldn't change. Okay, it shouldn't change. So according to the Ashk when Ashkenazi is in the army, when he gets the green tzitziyot, he should leave it white as far as in the army. What should he do? Co color, take a special dye, and uh, color the tzitziyot to be green. Okay, so that's the difference between Ashkenazi and the Sephardi. I remember we being in the army, so we, we used to take the tzitziyot out, wear it out. I think we mentioned last week that the main part of the mitzvah is to uritemoto, see the tzitzit. So we had a tzitzit out. But then there's a, you, they train you that whenever you, you tr go as if into battle, so you shouldn't have anything shiny on you, including anything white. So you never wear white shirts under your, your uniform, your work uniform. So also tzitzit, whenever uh, white, they're always, uh, uh, sorry, also tzitzit, which were white, we never took them out of the uniform. We kept them in the uniform, uh, so maybe if you tie it, some people paint green, so it looks, you what, can't what see it. What does the army give the soldiers? 
um, the army gives the soldiers uh, two kinds of tzitzit, one from cotton and one uh, like dry fit uh, uh, kind of tzitzit, and they have uh, white tzitzit. So the 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 t-shirt itself is green and the strings are are white. That's the. Okay, we have another few more minutes. We we can continue. Halachot of tzitzit. Because reasons of kilayim, which you won't go into now, okay, just because of time, the Shulchan Aruch brings an opinion that uh, you shouldn't have tzitziot, uh, the tzitzit itself, made out of pishtan, out of linen. Okay? And the Shulchan Aruch writes, the Shamaim, someone who fears Hashem, he should do all of tzitziot, also the clothes itself, the t-shirt, the, the part of the clothes itself, and also the strings, the strings for wool, and then it's obligated from the Torah, there's no question about it, and that's it. Says the Ramah, if someone has, he doesn't have any wool with him, he, he's, I'm not sure, he's in the desert, uh, desert island, desert island, depending on what, what you like to eat, desert salt. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, he's in a desert island, and he has only clothes of uh, linen, so he'll do a tzitzit of linen, because that's what he has. In any case, today it's very easy to buy tzitziot out of wool, and that's what we should wear, tzitziot out of wool. Let's see if we have time for, yeah, maybe we can begin the next siman, siman, uh, siman yud. The main uh, halacha of tzitzit is that, and that we mentioned last week, it's an obligation only if you're wearing something which fits the criteria of tzitzit. And the main criteria of tzitzit is that it has four corners. So any clothes that is obligated in tzitzit has to have at least four corners. Okay, at least four corners. And say, well, at least. What happens if I have five corners or six corners? So if you have three corners, it's not obligated in tzitzit. If you have four corners, that's the best thing. If it has more than that, it's obligated in tzitzit, and you choose the four corners which have the most distant, uh, most distant from each other. Okay, so... If I have something with five corners for some reason, I'm not sure why, um, so I choose the ones that are most distant, the four corners which are most distant from each other, and I'll put tzitzit on them. And that halach is very important because some people have, have a trick. I have a clothes with four corners, and I don't want it to become obligated in tzitzit. So what do I do? I'll cut one corner and make it into like a triangle, and now it won't be obligated in tzitzit. But if you know, I take one corner and cut it in a straight line, I'm actually making a tzitzit with five corners and it's still obligated with tzitzit. Mm. So with that, we'll continue next week and I can see the people are watching at us at the clock, so we'll end here. Quickly, how do you, uh, how do you get rid of